And howdy, folks. Welcome to a live stream from Poland. My name is Scott. If you, for me, for the first time, howdy. Welcome to my YouTube channel, Go Small, Live Large. We've got Peter and Michael from near Warsaw, Poland, from the Vandermoon Factory. Hi. Factory, gentlemen, say good morning. Here to our time. Oh. <laughs> so good afternoon and good morning. Yeah. Good morning to all of our American viewers. It's so great to have you all here. Um, if you're not familiar, many of you probably are. So Peter and I are been working together for many years. He builds vans. He's um, uh, makes some amazing van gear, and Vandermoon is part of that portfolio. Uh, so he's visiting the factory where they make this, uh, they design it and make it. This is not where they designed in America and made in China. This is all designed and made in house, um, and it's just exciting to have you all here today. Um, Peter, kind of tell us what we're going to walk through, and then we'll just kind of get right into it. Yeah, for sure. So. We're going to, well, A, we're going to meet the team. We're going to show you a few people from here, introduce them, okay? Um, actually, Magda, she's behind the marketing and just marketing? Uh, a little bit more. Marketing and a little bit more. So Magda actually is the owner's daughter, and she kind of runs things, I think. But we'll see. Uh, nice. To my right is uh, Michael. Hi, everyone. And Michael's also marketing, right? Yeah, marketing and sales, especially and sales. international sales. Okay, very nice. So we're going to meet uh, more of the team as we go. Perfect. So we're going to start in kind of the um, their studio, which is super awesome. I'm really jealous and show you some of the products if you're not familiar with them and how they really enhance van travel, which is kind of what we are so excited about. And then we're going to down, go downstairs and see some of the, um, the stations where these are being assembled. Do I have that right? Yep. Fantastic. So we're working on a different uh, audio system. So thank you for your patience there. And I think we're going to be just fine. It's so far so good. So um, Peter, Michael, kind of let's start on some of the gear there and uh, yeah. tell us what we're looking at and how this enhances van travel. Sure. Should we start with the Moon Kitchen? Yeah, I think we should. Perfect. I think we should. Okay. So Moon Kitchen 2.0. There's so much to talk about. We're probably not going to cover everything, but what you see here is five different modules right they're all a different size and this these are modules that you can build a kitchen from okay so starting with the main module this is where the fridge will live you can kind of see on a uh this one is designed for a drawer type um for a drawer type, type fridge but you could also um design this to hold a different fridge all right in the front you can open these guys up so drawer system and this one is simply opening like this because we have a sink right yeah, now yeah. keep in mind that you can order this any way you like so you can customize it from different uh orientations from drawers to a system like this one okay these attachments also can they're removable and this one on my right it's kind of like the moon bar so you have different uh, attachments here and this is a, a garbage can right so open this guy up that's cool so, yeah so this would be your base system and this you can attach to different systems to build a bigger module uh, michael do you want to add a little bit yeah i think i should <laughs> actually well you see that all these modules that we have on our photo studio have wheels you know the wheels that we installed to show you the um the idea behind the kitchen so from these modules, as Peter said, you can build anything you want, right? You can just put them together. You can uh, put together two modules. If you need more space, you just um, unscrew them, right? And dismount it. So you can put these modules together actually without any limitations, starting from the smallest one, which has around 30 centimeters. I know that most Americans are more familiar with the um, Imperial system. Um, how is it? Uh, how is it in inches? Thirty centimeters. Um, Thirty centimeters. Uh, you put me on a spot here, but I want to say about 50, twelve inches, maybe. Yeah. And you know, this is the this is this is as little as you can go, and then there's no upper limit, right? You can put as many of these ca cabinets as you want, and and you know, from that you'll build the whole coherent kitchen system. Um, what else? I think one of the most uh, important characteristics of this of these product is the back of the kitchen. I agree. Peter, wanna wanna say something? You're the one who's experienced yeah. fitting vans. 
So the kitchen system is designed for every van, right? So it's not van specific. So it doesn't work just in a Sprinter, but it will work in a ProMaster. It's going to work with a Transit. And this can be achieved because the back end of the kitchen is adjustable. Okay. Not only this, when you encounter ribs in the van, typically when making a custom system, you have to account for that, right? With this system, you basically adjust the back of it for the rib. Okay. And then little things like you can run water in here. You can run water behind it. You can run the wiring behind as well, which is super clever in my opinion. All right. So I'll just, let's, let's, let's make it a bit experimental. So now I am going to ask you a question. Mm -hmm. So what happens if you have a wheel in the car? Yeah. So the wheel, well, that's a challenge typically, right? Not with this system. So here, this is perforated and you're able to cut away so that you can hide the wheel well and put the cabinet over the wheel well. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. So you see all the perforations on the back and on, on the sides, um, but they don't need to be here. We have options, right? So if, if, if your module will be on the verge of your whole construction, then you don't need to have holes. You can order these without it. Um, the perforations are for installation purposes and also to reduce the weight. Because as we all know, one of the most important things in, in van life is keeping the weight low. Yeah. And Scott, check this out. Sir. Whoa. <laughs> okay. Super lightweight. But don't be deceived by it. It is super high quality as well. So it's not a system that you're going to buy, buy that's going to squeak and rattle. It's actually solid. And it looks like it comes in different um, finishes, wood, fabric, and colors. That, do I have that right? Correct. How many yep. combinations do we have? Well, <laughs> hard to count really. Hard to count really. But I can but just tell you thousands. what we can choose. Yeah, it's more. In, yeah, it's it's like in thousands. I can tell you what we can choose choose from. So first of all, we have a couple of base colors for 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 the front finishing. Um, it can be upholstered. We have colors of our moon boxes here. So it's five colors, but it can be more, as we know. Um, then, we're, then you have a different colors of um, of powder coating. This is aluminum made, powder coated. So you know, and the base in, in our basic color palette, we have five colors, I think, at the moment. But um, Vandermoon Custom Shop can can do wonders for you if you need more. Uh, then you can have different combinations of. Um, of drawers, right? Three drawers, one drawer and one closet, and then just a closet. If, if this is the word, sorry for my English. Um, I think my You're pronunciation is better than my vocabulary. <laughs> <laughs> You're doing great. Um, Peter, how tall are the cabinets overall? Um, they're standard height. I want to say 33 inches, give or take. Okay. If that's the standard. Uh, just imagine a standard kitchen height. I think they're about that, that height. And we'll have all that information on the website. The Moon Kitchen 2.0 actually will be on the website in a, in a few days. So great. And maybe Peter, yeah. spin the, um, <clears throat> excuse me, the, um, the refrigerator. So this uh, section, the module around. And so this handles like a, a chest style refrigerator, yeah. like a Dometic or a Truma, something like Correct. that. So imagine that this is the sliding door here. And you've got your table. This is a prototype table that will actually be a little bit different, but this will be the table that flips outside. Nice. And then here, you can fit a Domatic, I believe the CX34, uh, but many different fridges will fit in here. It's, it's a good size um, and definitely one of the Domatics will fit. But remember, you can order this with a different front and then you have a larger fridge that will fit in here as well. So like an isotherm that has a swing to the left Correct. Yeah, or full metal plate, right? If you don't want to put a fridge inside Correct. of the module, you can have a full metal plate. And then um, inside you can fit water tank, gas tank, electric installation, whatever your imagine, imagination will, will come up with, really. And, and help us, Peter and Michael, with the, this is very clever, but I'm thinking if I'm a you know, DIY van builder or a van builder like yourself, Peter, What's the what's the upside of doing this versus having fixed cabinets that you can't yeah, change? Um, several. A, if your needs change, you know, I mean, a lot of people will, will build their van, especially the first van, they're, they're going to be like, gosh, I wish I could make this a little bit different, you know, or 
I have this big trip planned to Alaska and I don't have enough space to store my food, my gear. You know, a lot of people go to Baja, California and they hang out there for two weeks. And one of the challenges is having enough food with you. So here you can grow your kitchen if you need to. And in fact, it's super easy. Like imagine you have a kitchen module on the passenger side and then on the driver's side, you've got seats, but you're not taking your kids with you. You can take the seats out and you can throw the kitchen in. I mean, there's just like so many reasons to have a modular kitchen system. Yeah, it's really clever. And the light weightness of it is clearly very obvious. Yeah, we've very discovered high this before. You know, in Europe, they're very strict on weight. And I think they're going to start being more strict in the U.S. But just, just to be safe, you, you want to build your van as lightweight as possible. Plus, it handles better. Plus, it's safer. You know, off-road. I think that weight is important to to consider when building a van. 100%. And then, Peter, these are available through you in the U.S., is that right? What's the availability and, and general pricing per module? Is that a fair question? I don't have pricing yet, but it's going to be very reasonable from what we discussed. Uh, we're going to have pricing on our website in, in just a few days, maybe a week. Uh, and they're going to be available through Rover Vans. We're going to stock a good amount. And then they're going to be available custom as well. So if you have a kitchen in a color that we don't carry, you're going to be able to order that combination as well. Super great. Um, anything else on the kitchen modules? Because those are pretty cool. I uh, do moon blocks. I think we're good. Anything you want to add? Well, I think, yeah, there are a couple of details that I, that I, I think should be, um, should be said now. So a lot of our customers asked us about Mm, solutions that will allow them installation and then uh, dismantling the, the you know the kitchen setup so imagine that you have a so imagine that you have a van that you don't use for travel in your everyday life right you're a professional you i don't know you, you have a constructing co construction company or something like that but you know every now and then you want to pack up your car and you just you know hit the road so with this solution you can do it easily you know, you put the boxes up using airlines, you put the kitchen um, inside also using airlines if you want. There are a lot of, there are a lot of options how we can install it. It's, uh, it's, it's built in a way that you don't need a lot of mounting points, right? I, I think I could show you um, the construction inside. So you see these aluminum profiles. Um, the bottom yep. of the kitchen looks exactly the same. So you can use these mounting points to install the kitchen in your car. Actually, you need four, maybe eight. So if you fit airlines in, uh, in your floor, in your, in your van floor, then it's perfectly possible to have a kitchen that you can slide in and slide out. That's cool. And, and what you're talking about, Michael, is an L-track. That's kind of our vernacular. All right, right thank you. Correct. I will learn a lot today. <laughs> That's all good. No, you're doing great. You should hear my Polish. It's absolutely terrible. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not even sure I know a Polish word now that I think about it. Anyway, um, I visited Warsaw. It's a great town. Um, yeah. Let's uh, let's move to the moon boxes. Uh, mm -hmm. Let's talk about those and show how those are constructed. And if we can have the camera guy get close to those, so that was a great vantage on the, the top of the okay. kitchen module. But uh, seeing the project is so important. Yeah. So... One of the things I really always wanted to do this, and I never had a chance to, I wanted to show how these moon boxes are made and how, how they look inside, right? So a lot of people, when they see a beautiful product, what they don't see is the construction behind it. So starting from the bottom, and we're going to zoom in, this is an aluminum box, right? It is, um, it is bent and cut. It's, a, it's CNC cut, laser cut, then it's bent and constructed in the way that you see. And then inside, it's finished with plastic. Strong but light. Yeah, strong, super light. And then if you move up, you can see this is the padding that goes around it. So this will take away any noise. And if you hit it, it's going to be nice and soft. And it provides the beautiful base for the material when they finish it. And then to further make the construction better and for usability, they put these dividers in. 
And these dividers, they can also come with safety nets. So if you have any equipment that you want to put in there that you don't want moving or shifting around, you can use the safety nets to hold that equipment in place. And Peter, this is all done in in house. We're going to see some of this. Um, in Everything's done in yeah. here, absolutely. From I mean, from A to Z. Nice. And then if you move to the finished product, you've seen these before. I mean, but my favorite part is just the quality of the product. Um, starting from the pockets, you know, they have little magnets here just to keep them in place. Then they have Velcro, right? And then they expand quite a bit so you can store books and toiletries, everything else in here. And then they neatly put away. And then the zipper works really well. So there's no rattling from any, uh, you know, from like a typical van rattles. Uh, lots of storage in here. And then this is an example of the net. I'm going to keep it inside. It's nicely packed, but this is the netting system that you can use to uh, secure your gear. And then in here. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. okay. Yeah. Let's, let's open it. And in here we have the moon fix. And this is a system for attaching it to the L track. It goes right through these guys in here, kind of like it's attached actually to the shelf here. Super smart. Oh, there you go. That's nice. Right? Yeah. And this is the moon safety net. So this guy will go in here like this. So it's just like that extra touch from vendor moon, you know, like not only you have this beautiful system, now you can actually have the safety so that things don't shift around when you're driving around. And this can actually be also mounted inside. So if you have like a camera equipment, you can keep things nice and tight in here and not yeah. shifting around. That's cool. Uh, let me ask the audience, if you've been traveling in your van, how many times have you opened up a cupboard and you're playing catch as things fall to the floor because they've shifted in transit? It's pretty common. Uh, so that's really smart. I love that. Uh, these are, I mean, we, we've, done, we've done a lot of coverage on these, but I still kind of, I love covering these just because they're so cool. They're so lightweight. Uh, they're beautifully constructed and they just solve the problem of an upper cabinet, you know, not to mention safety. You know, these things are over your head. They weigh about 20 pounds versus 45 pounds for a typical wooden cabinet of that size. And they're come in various sizes in terms of length and depth Correct. or just length? So right now, uh, in, in terms of length, there is four different sizes. Uh, this is the large 115 centimeters, which is roughly 44 inches, I believe. And then we have about 30, I think 36 inches, 26, and they actually have an extra small one. These are already on the website, so you can, you can check it out there. And then you can order them various sizes. Uh, right now, they are very specific, but I was told that there is a new one in the works that may be universal for all the vans, which I'm super excited about. And there is actually several improvements that they're going to make to it, too. That's so great. And these come yeah, in multiple separate. colors. Oh, sorry. Correct. Correct. Yep. yep. I think, I think you guys are up to five, five colors, colors right now. Five colors. Five, five colors yeah. at the moment. We're, we're working on introducing more, especially the lighter colors. A lot of people were asking us about something a bit lighter. So we'll have cream and we also have uh, you know, brownish coffee, something like that. Um, um, I would like to speak a bit about the sizes of the boxes because we, are, we know that there is a need for um, maybe some alternative when it comes to, to depth and, and height of the box. So it's, it's, it's on the way. Very cool. Very cool. I can't give you any dates, but uh, we know that there is need for that. And I guess this product will get even cooler if, if you have more options. That's awesome. Um, well, hopefully you're working yeah. with um, SpaceX and NASA so that the moon boxes actually <laughs> land on the moon. Exactly. <laughs> Maybe one day we will design moon box for Tesla. And yeah, <laughs> you never we, will, know. we never know. And, and, our te and our boxes will be in Tesla launched somewhere, somewhere. Yeah. Yeah. in space. I don't know. You know, our name is Mother Moon. So, to the moon. <laughs> so great. 
Um, let's look at the the last thing, and then um, then we're yeah. gonna go downstairs and look at some of the. Um, we're about twenty minutes in. Thanks for everybody. Got a nice group in here. This is great. So I'm gonna mute um, Michael and Peter. You kind of run us through this, mm -hmm. and Michael, if you want to add something, we will unmute you. Okay. So, are you ready, Scott? Yes, sir. All right. So this is the newest product from Vendor Moon. It's gonna be the Moon Bed System. Uh, what you're looking at here is basically, you know how you have typically a garage area in the van, in the back, and typically one side will kind of cover the electric, the other side will cover the water, and it's used as a bed platform as well. Uh, what you see here is a modular bed system, and this variation is very low, but it's built specifically for a client that is going to demo this very system, but it's also going to be modular, kind of like the, the kitchen system. So here you have three modules put together, right? So you have one, two, and three. This I would say is a width of about 55 to 60 inches, give or take. And you're able to kind of compose the width of the bed that you want, okay? But they didn't stop there. Now you have a modular height system as well. So while this would be the top system, this is a bed, this is a bottom system. You can add on to this and grow the bed up. Right. Can we so have the camera guy, Peter, kind of zoom in there? Because we're it's hard to see the, yeah. de the detail. Yeah, perfect. Keep talking. So you can basically add on modules. And let's say if you, you have the need to store bikes uh, underneath your bed, then the whole system would grow basically with another module like this or another module like this. And even though they're separate systems on the inside, it's all open now. Right, so if you have a water tank or if you have electric, you're not limited by adding the modules. In fact, you're just growing the system based on your needs. Uh, little things like if you if you notice like notice this padding in here. So this is done so that the system is rattle free and it keeps um, it's gonna be it's gonna be very sound when put in. Uh, these add-ons like on, on here are used so that you can do, uh, attach different attachments to it. So what's cool, like imagine you've got one of these moon boxes and this one can be added here, right? And this can, you can have this as additional storage. So if your cabinet stores a water system or electric, there's really no reason to get in there unless you have a problem. So if you want more storage, you can install this. Now, so if you don't need, mm -hmm, so help us kind of understand what we're looking at because it's out of perspective in the sense it's not in the van. So we're we're looking at yeah. this from from the, the the seats in the in the and and, the, and where your leg is there. That's the the cargo doors. So this is so one side of the van. Th this would be let's say where the garage area, is, right? Okay. This would be on the passenger side of the van, right? And this platform would be the bed. So we're gonna install the bed. Uh. All right. And then imagine an identical module on the other side, on the other side here. Gotcha. And this is just your platform bed. Much better. Thank you. That helped me. I'm, yeah. I live in a van, so I'm kind of slow. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, I mean, this is like, this setup would be typical to a storyteller or a rebel kind of garage where you have space for gear, for bikes and whatnot. And these would be your two uh, over the wheel -well systems. So. And I love this your, also, I'm sorry, Peter, I, I love it, the fact that you pointed out that while a lot of systems are usually contained on one or maybe even both sides of the van, water, electric, but you still have storage by attaching a moon box on the exterior correct. of that uh, uh, system. That is super smart. Correct. And then, for example, this is your platform, uh, your, your bed, right? And now we all know we have different widths of a van, like a Promaster, for example, is wider than a Sprinter. So this bed platform you can build out as you can see so you can build the width of the bed that you're going to need but still they made it super lightweight i mean this thing weighs absolutely nothing all aluminum and it's really nice and sturdy so these would be your platforms they're also going to be designed where they are going to be hinged and they're going to get out of the way like this oh yeah murphy bed so we're going to see murphy bed yep so we'll see that in the future and um, what else I wanted to show you, super lightweight, wow. but yeah. So this back section of it, if you want 
if you want a bit of bigger water tank or if you have bigger electric needs, you can actually expand, expand it. So see how this is constructed here? So this section will come out. And same thing, you know, on the, on the back here, this is expandable. I think there's like a 10 centimeter um, modularity to each component. No way. And this way you can, you can expand it or make it smaller based on your needs and based on how much garage space you need. That is so smart. Yeah. And then if you don't like this look where you can see all the screws and whatnot, they will have organizers that are going to cover this area. So it's going to be beautiful. You can have pockets and everything else. I think it looks like something from the military. I'm super intrigued. Right? See, I actually like the, I love the military look. And I'm thinking of making my van. I think I might switch to the green color. I think I ordered the gray or a white system. I might actually yeah. ask them if they can make me the green one. It's super organic looking. And again, right. maybe this kind of help us, uh, Peter and Michael, again, if it's a DIY or you're kind of remodeling your van, what problem does this solve? Um, oh my gosh. I mean, it, it, you know, you can actually have a system that's uh, at a good price point and then you can create towards your needs. So if you're, you know, if you need more electric or less electric, if you need more storage or water, uh, you can order it that way. And then you don't have to make anything custom because the system is so adjustable that it's going to work in any van. Um, so you don't have to go and look for a carpenter and, and ask him to make you something specific. And, you know, we all know how the eggs are shaped kind of funny. Uh, it's just going to cut out so much DIY work and the need for tools. And then you're going to have a super lightweight, professionally built system. That's so cool. The, the, you know, your car bag, for some reason, your furniture stays with you. You just move right. your furniture to your next car. Yeah, you're not, you're not sick, but you can actually you take, take the system car. out and then you can sell your van without the furniture or you can move the furniture into your van. So just options, you know, they, keep, they give you options for building. Yeah, so or if you decide you want more water or less or you want more um, electric, like electrical system, you can expand it without buying a new van. I, mean, I don't think I've ever Correct. heard that before. That's incredible. Right. Um, yeah. We've got some questions coming in. Everybody's pretty like aghast at this in a good way. They're like, this is so cool. Um, Neil and Brett have a question here. Peter, um, how much is the bed system? And what's the availability like on that? It's probably a good question for Michael. Well, we haven't priced it yet. Um, this is my million answer. dollars. I know. <laughs> no, definitely less. You know, the goal is to keep it really affordable. Um, so you don't need to expect something that you won't be able to cover. Fair enough. Actually, comparing it to some of the systems out there from what I, my initial conversation is going to be very affordable in comparison to what's on the market right now. Yeah. And availability timeline, this is um, later in the year, probably. Um, no, this is going to be available very soon, right? Yeah. To release it before the season. So you should expect yeah. it. So very soon. I think their vans in the summer, summer. they're going to be able to get people. That's so great. <laughs> I love it. It's so cool. I love that color. I just love the military look. It's, it, it's, it's kind of adventure van on steroids. I agree. I'm, I, I think you just convinced me to build my van in this color. Yeah, it's beautiful. I love it. Yeah. Um, so. Okay, so, so should, should we, we go downstairs? We do yeah. yeah, let's do a tour. All right, you want to meet some of the other teammates? Yes. All right, Michael, you want to introduce people? Yeah. So Tomek is running away. <laughs> Another <laughs> sales guy. <laughs> just please follow me. I will just quickly show you around the factory. But I will need some support from Peter. <laughs> yep. All right. What what do we see okay. here? So this is where a lot of the magic happens. This is where all the sewing have you know. So everything on the exterior of the moon box, the organizers, anything with fabric with soft goods, this is where it gets put together. It looks like I could eat my dinner off that floor. You honestly could. The cleanliness in here is ridiculous, Scott. And I thought they um. I thought they got ready for us, but I've been here before and it's always like this. <laughs> so no, no staging for YouTube Live? That's pretty funny. <laughs> <laughs> I 
have another business and we manufacture medical accessories as well. So you can actually eat from that floor. <laughs> Thank you, Michael. <laughs> so that was the sewing room. This must be the cutting room. Yep. This is yep. a machine that cuts the fabric. So this is the beautiful blue that we've seen on the boom boxes and the organizers. And you can tell they cut, uh, these are, they actually just cut some organizers and they're about to cut a little bit more. So that's a piece there that's going to be used. Wow. Mm -hmm. Can you recognize this piece, Scott? Yeah, it looks like a um, top of a ProMaster <laughs> door. Uh, sprint, door. Sprint, sprinter, close. That's uh, close. <laughs> that's a Sprinter 907 door. And it looks like you guys are really measuring carefully so there's very little waste. Correct, yep. There's actually a um, software that's used to eliminate as much waste as possible. And they want to really, really maximize what they get out of each piece. So this is the emphasize or dark gray color. That's yeah, really cool. Yeah. Is it using a knife then? Where's it a laser? Maybe they can't hear me. Maybe they can't hear me. Is that a laser that's cutting it? Is that a laser that's cutting it? It's a knife. Knife. Okay. Yeah, sure, Ryan. Okay. Nope. Okay, Hello? I can hear you now. Okay. Yeah. Can you hear me, Scott? I can hear you, Peter. Uh, is okay. it a laser or a Let's knife keep that's going. cutting? It's actually a knife. Nice. So there is a laser guide on it, but it's actually a knife that's used for cutting everything. Very cool. They they do have laser CNC machines as well. We'll show you those. And I always love these behind the scenes things because it, it helps me understand right. at least uh, what it takes to put a product together. Yeah. All right. So Magda's going to lead the way. Our uh, network is holding up well. Audio, video That's quality, good. good. Oh. Uh, some of our stuff stayed a bit longer today, just to show you the whole process. Oh, nice. Otherwise, it's happy hour? Yeah. Oh, well. <laughs> yep. It's always happy hour at the end of the month. Come good. <laughs> I like how you guys roll. <laughs> All right. Oh, downstairs. That's a big building, eh? It's a, yeah, it's it's an impressive building. Thank you for not taking the elevator. We might have lost the whole. <laughs> that's the that's the reason we actually did that. Wow, it looks like a beautiful. <laughs> Say again, Michael. Just to you know, make sure that we're okay. Yeah, All so right, so this, is, this is not a part of the factory that's more dedicated towards actually um, all the van stuff. You can see the owner's van is actually there. A lot of the test gear will be put in, in and out of this van. Uh, these guys are working on assembling the new moon, uh, moon bed system. Oh, cool. I love that color. I'm telling you. I know. I'm... I'm convinced I'm going to put it in my van now. Have we just discovered our new bestseller? I don't know. <laughs> so this is installing hinges? The pieces on the, on the floor here. Uh, again, everything is such nice quality. Uh, absolutely beautiful. And, and you see these like... I've never seen this done before. So they actually laser cut these little guys that are, they have adhesive on it. They put it on the side of every element in order to eliminate any squeaks and rattles in the future. 
I've never seen anyone do that before. Super smart. And just a yeah. little touch, like you say, right? The yeah. And, yeah. And this is, you know, because of the strategically placed holes on here, this is so lightweight, but yet it's sturdy and it's just, just a really cool design. So you get, you get this quality system while being lightweight. <laughs> okay. All right. All right. So you've seen the organizers in, in, in my van. Uh, this is kind of like behind the scenes how they're made. Of course, the finished and product. Riveted. So that process, this is, he was actually installing these guys right there for clipping in. Like a rivet. Um, well, I'm not sure exactly. It's a snap, snap button, I think. Well, hand, hand me. That's cool. Yeah. And yeah, they are handmade. So I got a, I got a, why don't you, uh, Scott, guess how many hours does it take to make a moon box? Oh, my goodness. I'm going to say, hang on, hang on, hang on. I started. We, we gave it away. I'm going to guess, oh, we couldn't hear you. So I'm going to guess um, five hours? 14 hours. 14 hours. 14 hours. 14 man hours is what it takes to make a moon box. Wow. Okay. You want to see how it's done? Yeah, please. 14 hours. Uh, There's so a lot of components the, to that, right? That's, that's a lot of componentry. So right there, these guys are riveting together the aluminum part of the moon box. That is so cool. Again, hand assembly. I had mm -hmm. that same tool in my profile. <laughs> So that that might actually be my moon box, the green one. <laughs> I just ordered uh, three green moon boxes for my new van. And this one here looks like a Promaster one. You can tell by the little angle on the back. Oh yeah. All right. It's so great. All right. You guys want to keep going? All yeah. Right, let's keep going Go for a few minutes. Cool. You've probably seen the cutaway van that was at the show. Oh, yeah. So that's the display. All right. That is the CNC machine. This is how they cut all the panels for the organizers. So, so this is your laser, right? Yeah. Is that plastic we're looking at or is that plywood? We got some plastic. So that's the CNC. I can't hear you very well because the machine is making noise. Yeah. All right, we're going to keep going? Sure. Everybody looks like they're having fun. Yeah. On a Wednesday morning. <laughs> so check this out. They even do all the power coding inside, right? On, on site, inside. So they have two heating boots. And all these things are brackets. It looks like these are part of the moon bed and they're, they're getting ready for powder coating. So they even do that. They don't even outsource that part. Wow. And that is not insignificant, right? Even down to no. the- No, no, this way they, they can control the quality. They can control the production. Uh, one of the things people don't realize is how fast they can turn a product around. You know, like, like from ordering, typically things are available within a week or two. And then maybe just explain the powder coating process because I'm not really familiar with it. So you start with an aluminum piece here, it looks like. Correct, yep. And so powder coating as opposed to paint, it uses electromagnetic. Um, I might be a little bit incorrect on the English verbiage, but basically it is uh, the paint is in a powder form and it's attracted by creating kind of a magnetic field on the element. So when you have the powder, mixed with the paint it attaches to the paint in a much better system much better way and i may be like off on some of the technicality um but it just creates a much stronger and resilient coat 
and it's a lot more even than just spray painting. Interesting. So does it go into a bath then, or is it literally sprayed on? This will get sprayed on, on here, and then it will go inside of one of those big units over there, and that's, that's where it gets baked. So uh, uh, it gets heated up to a certain temperature, which, which allows it to cure better. So all this is done in order to create a stronger, uh, stronger adhering paint. Much less scratch resistant, or much scratch more scratch resistant. resistant. More yeah. scratch resistant, yep. It gives it that cool feel. Wow, that's cool. Mm -hmm. Sprayed and baked. Yeah. <laughs> Sprayed and baked. All right, let's go see some other things. Thanks for joining us. We'll go for a few more minutes. This is pretty cool, right? Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen. So this is like where a lot of the metal work gets, uh, gets done. Uh, starting with... Um, What's the name of this machine? Okay, so this is like a... God, I forget the English verbiage for it, but this is basically where the thing gets cut. Is that set over? Ah. I'm going to get back to you on this one because I'm not really familiar with this one. But okay. let me show you some other stuff. A lot of equipment. Yes. Peter or Michael, any idea how the name Vandermoon came about? It's kind of an unusual name. Our boss. Say again? Traveling. I think it was the idea of our boss, Jacek. Magda, do you know the story behind Vandermoon? The, the name. name Vandermoon. She is the one to talk to. Top of it. Oh, okay. Can you hear her? Um, yes. I think it's. Um, because of his loving of traveling and going with a van whenever he wants. Vandermoon? Yep. I think the moon symbolizes how far they want to go. Yeah, and <laughs> van from Wittberg because Wittberg um, sounds like German vocabulary uh, or something. And I think <laughs> it's there in a, in a Vandermoon, it's because of it. It's, uh, <laughs> Got it. I don't know. You know, sometimes cool ideas have very simple explanations. <laughs> Fair enough. Just curious. <laughs> Thank you. That helps. <laughs> no legend. <laughs> All right. Legendary products. All right. Let's keep going. Equipment. So, I guess from something like this, right, to something like this. We use something like this. <laughs> <That'll> be... <laughs> so this is basically a sheet metal bender, right? So it has um, very, you know, high tech like uh, programming done. You have different dies that you can see here. There's a different dies over here, and they're put into uh, put into the machine to create different kind of bends, right? So uh, you can have you know a more aggressive bend, less aggressive bend, like a ninety degree bend, like over there. So they use that. The bender over here. Uh, you just never really understand it till you see it, right? Kind of cool to show everyone how much equipment and work and and just thinking and programming and labor goes into these things. Um, so this is a laser cutter. It might actually be working right now, but this is what they use to basically cut sheet metal. So from again. You have a, you have a sheet like this, and then it get gets laser cut with uh, before getting bent. And they use uh, mostly mm -hmm. Peter, or they use actual sheet metal. They they use almost everything's made in aluminum here, so it's actual sheet metal, aluminum pieces that they use. And isn't aluminum more fussy to work with because it it's strong, it but it's susceptible to it is. Yes, but it's lightweight and it doesn't corrode. Yeah. So you're getting, you know, those two, the combination of the two things, like it, it's, it's not as strong as metal, but the weight to strength is actually better. And again, better to work with and will last forever. Very cool. Yeah. Describes every single... Yeah, I, I think so. I think this is basically it for the process. I think we showed everything that we have. Well, you've done an amazing job. I um, <laughs> thank you, Peter, for uh, taking the extra time to 
Joel says, I don't, you just speak the world of, of Vandermoon and, and we've seen the products and it's just a, just a delight to see what, how it's made. Um, uh Oh, did we just lose them? Perfect timing. Maybe. Thank you. There we go. Now, the, the passion is just like, you know, you come in here, you can tell that these guys just love what they do and, and just enjoy and just everything that goes into it from, you know, from the thought process to the design to how much, you know, heart and hard work is put in. You can definitely tell it's really, really good stuff. Yeah, um, 100%. So yeah, pleasure to work with you guys. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let me just uh, splash the screen to learn more. Uh, this is where you want to go to. So rovervans.com. Uh, many of these products are listed on his website, Peter's already. And then vandermoon.com. They have an English version. It's pretty nice. So you can go so see some of the latest and greatest. And, um, and just again, Peter and, and Michael, thank you for the time today. And thank you everybody for watching the live. Um, you guys did a great job. Super, super great job. For the live um, video, for this opportunity. And thanks to all the people who are watching us, yeah. listening to us. Thank you guys. Yeah, we had a nice group in here. <laughs> nice group. Have a great day. <laughs> thanks, you guys. Take the rest of the day off. Happy hour in Poland. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye now. Pretty cool, huh? Um, it always amazes me to see how things are made. It helps me appreciate what it is. If you've ever been to Harvest Host site and you've seen the milk and the cows and they're making the cheese and then you're buying the cheese or you're watching them drill holes into maple trees to get syrup out or making wine or beer or vodka, um, uh, bourbon maybe even, it's just always impressive to me to see how much goes into it to help me understand the uh, value of that product and how much you can work and passion goes into it. So thanks for watching this live stream from Poland. I'm coming at you from Texas. Hopefully you enjoyed some Eclipse. If you're in the in the bands, you got to experience that. We had a great uh, Eclipse Van Bury a couple days ago. And um, we've got What's Up Wednesday tonight. And I hope you can join us for that. Until we see you soon, we say journey on and peace be with you. Thanks for watching. Uh, do appreciate it. Have a great day. Bye-bye.